Greetings friends, welcome to A Shot of Code. Today we're looking at shortcuts inside Visual Studio Code. Now before we get started, if you find yourself liking this video, feel free to click that subscribe button below. Uh, but let's jump in, I've got a few of these. I know there's a few videos out there, well a lot of videos on these sort of things, but hopefully there's a few in here that you'll uh, like and should be useful hopefully as well. Okay, let's jump in. I've got Visual Studio Code here. Uh, the first one we're going to look at, this is my one that I use the most, is um, the shortcut to delete a line. So say we're in um, our index.ts file here. Say we wanted to delete this line here. You know, I would generally, if I was on the keyboard, I would, I would click, oh, what I need to do, what I need to do actually is turn on this so we can see exactly what we're clicking. So if I was on the keyboard, I would maybe press N to get to the end here. Shift and home and then backspace to delete it. I've still got to get rid of the blank line. So I might do home and backspace. And then we've got rid of the line, which is fine, you know, but it's a few keystrokes. Um, but what if we could do if we were just on the line and we did uh, control shift K, that immediately deletes the line for us. Um, yeah, I quite like that one. I definitely use that one uh, a lot of the time. Right, let me put that one back. Now, the second one is to move a line. Now, if we had this line here and we wanted to move it above the line, above it, then what we could do, I mean, okay, what would we normally do maybe without a shortcut? We might select it all, do a Control X cut, come in here and paste it in, and then come back down and remove that line. So, a bit of a faff. Uh, what we can do though is use Alt and Up Arrow and that immediately moves it for us and we get no blank space as well. I can do Alt and Down Arrow to move it back as well. If you particularly like this line, you can actually do Shift Alt Down and that's going to copy it for you rather than move it. Okay. That is, whoops, that is going to be the next one I want to show as well actually. Uh, so this one is commented out. So let's um, let's look at how we could do that. So if I if I manually uncomment this one. Okay, so say we had a couple of lines here, and I wanted to comment them out. Okay, I can come in and click and do forward slash forward slash move down forward slash forward slash. And say we had to do some more, so I'm coming down here and putting those in. You know, if you wanted to get rid of this whole function we can forward slash the whole thing but what we can actually do is simply select it and do control k c and that is going to comment out the whole block and conversely we can do control k u and that uncomments it so you know if we just wanted these two lines say control k c and control k u to bring it back so commenting out there quite a good one quite a good one indeed uh, right let's look at multiple cursors now this is what I've used and until I used it a lot I kept on forgetting how to do it uh, but if you you know the more you do it it's gonna stick in the end so say I had these four classes here and I wanted to add a width to all of them um, what I could do normally I would type width in here and give it a width and then come down to the next one and give that a width okay i think we get the idea there so let's do that in each one but what we can do is click in the first one then click and hold alt and then left mouse click on each of these spots so we can see the flashing cursor now on all of them and if i press enter it's going to enter my text in all of those locations so i can say width 200 px colon and that appears in every slot, so in every one of those multiple cursors. And then we just press escape and we're back to normal editing. So just undo those. So that's quite good. Uh, and then multiple words. What about that? Let's go back into the file here, into the TS. And say we had show toast. And if I highlight that and then do control shift L, that then highlights all of the other instances. I'll just make it a bit smaller so we can see on this one. So we can see a couple up there. So let me let me do that one again. So show toast. It highlights them there, 
on that initial one, but anything I type is just on the initial word that we selected. But if I select it and do Control Shift L, now I've got multiple cursors again on all of those. So if I type now, it's appearing in all of those locations. Okay, undo that one. And let's make it a bit bigger again. Alrighty, okay, let's do a HTML one, which probably is second only to the delete line in how often I use this. Um, if you've got a couple of divs and you want to put them within a parent div, what would we normally have to do here? We'd come in and we'd set up a div there, uh, grab the end of it maybe, and paste it down the bottom and then give it a save and pretty will um, format that for us. So, you know, quite a few keystrokes. And when there's quite a complicated bit of HTML, it, it can be fairly hard to do. But an easier way is if we select this and do Control Shift P, we can get into the Emmet uh, options. So I've got an Emmet option here, wrap with abbreviation. So if I click on that one, and then provide the abbreviation. So I'm going to do div, and we're in Emmet here, so I can give it a class. So I can say my class as well. Like so. And when I press enter there, it's wrapped it and formatted it and added that class. Now, by default, there's no uh, keyboard setting for this, but we can actually, you know, rather than having to do Control Shift P and then um, find it. If it's in your recently used, you can just press enter there, but it's not always going to be the case if you're doing other things in that um, in that box up there. So we can bind this ourselves. We need to get into the keyboard binding. So let's go into keyboard, uh, keyboard shortcuts. Didn't actually bring it up inside. That was help keyboard input shortcuts. Let's try uh, open keyboard defaults, open keyboard shortcuts. Yes, that looks good. And then in here, if we search for Emmet, and then we had um, a wrap. Let's see if it will bring up. Oh yeah, okay. So Emmet wrap with abbreviation, and there's no key binding there. So we can click on the plus here. And the one that I like to use, which uh, you know by gen generally isn't set up on any of the standard key wraps, is Shift Alt W uh, and press Enter. And now we've got that bound to our wrap. So if I now come back to the index HTML and undo that, and say let's do it against this whole this whole thing here this time. So rather than doing Control Shift P, I now can use my um, my custom binding of Shift Alt W, and now I'm straight in there with div dot my class, and you can see it's added that in nicely. So it does all the formatting for us there, and we can use the power of Emmet straight away. All right, one one last one. No, that's it. That's all of them. Done. Oh, okay, what was that? Six of them, I think. Six. Um, that one, that wrapping one, and the delete lines are my favorites, but you know the others use less frequently, but they're still pretty good uh, when you do use them. So there you go, Visual Studio Code shortcuts. If you like that video, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down if you didn't, um, and feel free to click that subscribe for new videos. Thanks for watching, bye.